Hello and welcome to another weekly vlog. This week's video is all about um, being in that zone of wanting to change like your career and train, change your lifestyle um, and having that new year impetus to try and do it. Uh, I think it's just a really interesting time of year, isn't it? A lot of people are talking about new year, new me, new changing, um, things are gonna be different this year, um, gonna achieve my goals, gonna get gonna make it my year, that kind of thing. Um, and I've been looking to something that, uh, you know, is, it's a bit of a, a new age notion called career coaching. But before that, I just wanna show you some of the, uh, the New Year's Eve celebrations that we had this year over in East London. Fun times. This was the outfit, white velvet jacket. Not sure what you think of that. But um, yeah, uh, but uh, some, fun, some fun vibes there with uh, some interesting dress sense from some people there. Uh, it was a Vogue party, a rooftop Vogue party. Uh, and it was um, DJ EZ playing to the crowd. So yeah, these are some of the scenes. So old school, old school DJ EZ. It was decent. It was decent to be fair. It was decent. Some of these tunes, they go back a long way. Yeah, 20 years. I mean, kind of goes to show how old we are actually, isn't it? For some of us anyway. Um, but yeah. This one, this is the this is the one. <laughs> Old school raving days. But yeah, enough about all that stuff. So in terms of career coaching, then, um, so career coaching is something I've been uh, exploring and looking into this year from like two points of view, really. One from like whether I might be um, personally like interested in having someone do it for me. Um, you know, assessing my goals, assessing where I want to be. Assessing kind of like, you know, what I actually want out of um, professional life and how that marries up with my personal life. And also whether I can give something back as well, because I'm all about trying to give back at the moment. Um, you know, the media uh, industry and particularly TV is quite a, a draining and sapping industry. It's very fun, it's very non-stop, very 24-7 um, and it does take its toll out of you. And I feel like there's a lot of new energy that's coming through in the industry at the moment that wants to make its mark and wants to do good stuff. And if I can give any advice or any impetus to that, any career advice particularly, um, I am all ears. And if you are someone who's interested in journalism and media and TV and film, in video content, in, um, in YouTubing and that kind of stuff, um, I'm yeah, I'm well up for being a mentor at the moment in time. So yeah, please do email me or please do hit me up in the DMs on social media, uh, and I will help you out. Send me any questions or anything you want to know, and I'll hopefully be able to give you some advice on anything you might be planning. But um, yeah, I was looking into I, I caught an article recently, and I, I saw something from um, I, 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 like it was a, it was an American an American um, piece about how career coaching is on the rise basically. Career coaching being sort of like for people who want to go into, you know, industries like politics and tech and that kind of thing. Um, and I read a piece on Alexandra Ocasio, uh, Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, the uh, US politician who has become a bit of a, you know, millennial sort of firebrand really, if you like, an icon for millennials uh, in the US. Um, and how she sort of used a career coach to str uh, strategize and plan her way forward. And I think it's really interesting because I think we could all do with a bit of advice and a bit of um, counseling, if you like, from time to time about where we're actually going and what we want to achieve. Because you might think that you're on one path, but somebody else, I mean, it did, you know, you don't have to go and pay through the odds for a, a high flying, flipping so-and-so from a big city to go and give you a hand in telling you what to do. But obviously if you've got the money, great, but like, um, Finding someone who's trusted that can that knows you and know, and knows what you want to achieve out of life, having like an hour's chat with them can do an absolute wonder for you, I reckon. Um, so yeah, career coaching. I think it's really important to do, and I reckon, I challenge you, and I'm gonna do it as well, I think, myself, to kind of find someone or find um, a service or, or a trusted confidant that you can bounce ideas off and then plot your vision from that. Rather than saying, going into the new year by, by saying, you know, new me, new thinking, this is what I wanna do, you know, vision boards, etc. I was talking about vision boards before, I think, in one of my other videos, but I think the reality is you've gotta know yourself before you start plotting these things. 
And if you don't know yourself, then you're just going to go in a hundred different directions and you're going to achieve nothing. You might achieve a couple of things, but they won't be where you, where you really want to go. And it takes time to work out where you really want to go. Um, so I think career coaching is my new mantra for 2020, I think. But what do you reckon? Do you think it's all, um, do you think it's worth doing? Have you ever done it before as well? Uh, I'm, intri I'm intrigued to know what you think. Um, it's one of those one of those sort of like new types of career now, isn't it? You know, telling other people kind of like what, what to do, what to go into. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think that career coaching is, is going to be, it's going to be useful. I think it's going to be useful, especially if you um, are at a point where you maybe have loads of ideas, you have loads of, you have a big vision, you have like some sort of like purpose that you feel you want to impact on the world, but you're not necessarily sure about the steps, how to take it. Um, and I think different people can help in different ways. So you might um, not realize that a complete stranger may be able to help you out more than someone you think may be able to help you out that knows you better. Uh, but I hope that makes sense anyway. But career coaching, would love to know your thoughts, whether you've done it before, whether you, th whether you, would, th whether you would think it would be something you would do and whether it might help in any way and also what your plans are for 2020. I'm interested, uh, would love to know and if I can help you in any way, please do hit me in the DMs. Thanks for watching, hit me up on the socials, do subscribe, do like, do follow, do all the usual things you do on social media or whatever it is. Uh, and yeah, and I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Because you lack a purpose, check it, thought about it, much, much later. Should have kept it real, would have been much greater. But you got in it like a pussy, in fact. Being pussy kept your whack ass back. Now, in 95 to 2000.